Beneath the many canopies of the rainforest, life in the undergrowth can be just as challenging. Even for poison frogs, parenting is a great responsibility. Although they lay eggs on land, their young are aquatic, and so they must be carried to water. This father has patiently waited for his eggs to hatch, and the tadpoles have wiggled their way onto his back. Soon he'll ferry them to a new home, perhaps to a small stream or pond, but he won't settle just anywhere. Often, these parents skip the closest ponds in favour of someplace more distant, hopping as far as 400 metres. The further away, the lower the risk of inbreeding, and the less competition there is for resources. The journey will be unrelenting. And yet still, this frog is bound onwards by a strong sense of fatherly duty. Most frogs pair up in the water. They lock together, with the female laying her eggs before the male fertilizes them. Their clumps of jelly float to the surface. Without a protective shell, these eggs are prone to drying out. Water offers them the moisture they need to develop. And yet some frogs have chosen to mate on land, especially those that live in the tropics. The humid environments free them from the waters, giving them the option to lay terrestrial eggs without the fear of desiccation. For long, it was thought they were driven down this route by aquatic predators, but there is just as much danger on land Instead, mating out of water is an escape from the breeding frenzy, where hundreds of males compete for females in a single pool. On land, mating can be more private, hidden away from rivals, and this guarantees paternity for the male. In the rainforest, the glass frogs breed on leaves, their clutch of eggs hanging over streams. Once the tadpoles develop, they drop into the waters below, but until then, they're often guarded by their parents. Only a tenth of amphibians care for their young. Egg attendance is perhaps the simplest form of care, evolving quickly as it only requires a parent to remain after fertilization. At little cost, parents guard their young from danger, keeping them hydrated with their own body moisture or even by urinating over them. From egg attendance, more complex forms of care eventually evolved, as parents spent more time with their brood. This drove the evolution of care beyond the egg stage, giving rise to tadpole transport. In Central and South America, the tropical poison frogs are famed for their parenting style, ferrying tadpoles throughout the rainforests. The family evolved from other hyloid frogs around 40 million years ago, with male care as the ancestral trait. In ancient frogs, perhaps this behaviour arose as parents sat on their brood, 
offering hatchlings a platform to escape. Sticky skin helps frogs hold in moisture, and this may have helped glue young onto their backs. These ancestors released them in nearby streams or ponds, before eventually traveling further away for offspring dispersal, reducing both competition and the risk of inbreeding. With only so much space on their backs, parents of large clutches make several round trips. Traveling over such distances is demanding work, especially for something so small. It also exposes them to danger lurking among the shadows, but their journey is made easier by how they appear. Poison frogs parade around in brilliant colours. They are the jewels of the rainforest. These colours serve as a warning signal. With toxins powerful enough to take out predators, they remove themselves from the menu. In ancient frogs, this colouring may have set the stage for the evolution of tadpole transport. It gave parents the confidence they could carry young safely, even when exposed. They could also take longer trips to explore the wilderness, and eventually discover new types of homes, like small pools in plants or trees. Species that settle in these microhabitats even tend to have brighter colouring. This transition from streams and ponds may have been driven by the large aquatic predators, but in these small bodies of water, food is scarce, and the tadpoles can quickly resort to cannibalism. Occasionally, Parenting can become too huge a task for just the father alone, and this drives the evolution of biparental care. In some species, females also play courier, evolving independently at least twice in the family. When competition gets intense, males may be stretched too thin to focus on their fatherly duties opting to defend their land instead from rivals. The watchful mothers keep note and step in only when needed, even providing the tadpoles with food, usually unfertilized eggs. Together, the couple ensures their young have the best chances of survival. In poison frogs, parenting is a delivery service that works tirelessly throughout the rainforests. From terrestrial mating to egg attendance, then finally tadpole transport, these frogs have hopped along their evolutionary journey of care, their backs heavy under the weight of their future. <laughs>